the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After this, the Lord appointed seventy others and sent them on ahead of him, two by two, into every town and place where he himself was about to come. And he said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest to send, sent out laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and salute no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if a son of peace is there, your peace shall rest upon him. But if not, it shall return to you. And remain in the same house, eating and drinking what they provide for the labor, what they provide, for the laborer deserves his wages. Do not go from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and they receive you, eat what is set before you. Heal the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not receive you, go into its streets and say, Even the dust of your town that clings to our feet we wipe off against you. Nevertheless, know this, that the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you, it shall be more tolerable on that day for Sodom, for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Be seated. My dear sisters and brothers, we all know the speciality of this month of October. So how many of you say one rosary every day? Very good. Praise the Lord. How many of you say countless rosaries every day? Remember me also in your prayers. This is, you know, stealing prayers for you. Praise the Lord. One rosary daily is just a quota. But in the month of October, I would suggest if you are attending our daily prayers in the morning at 6.30, we are doing 33 days of preparation to make a complete consecration to Jesus through the Immaculate Heart of our Blessed Mother. We started on the 30th of September and we are continuing. Today is the sixth day we have done. And when I was praying about this, something that Lord inspired to tell everyone was this. Say at least one extra rosary. All of us are praying rosary every day. All of us are praying rosary every day. You know, sometimes it is very automatic. Now, certain people, it has become a kind of addiction. Praise the Lord. They don't say rosary. They feel like the day is not complete. So they have to do it. I still remember when I, was jo I joined the seminary, and it was in 2002, another priest, there was um, um, a, a program that they were planning to do for the conversion of sinners. They add one person or you know, people into a group where they say chain rosary. So it is like five joyful decades, one decade each for a person. And their names are entered into or their names are enrolled into a list. Uh, it was, I don't remember the saying whose name it was. Yeah, the card, they give the card. And so 20 persons 
will complete one rosary a day. So it may be number of 20s, like 20 or 40, 20,000, 200,000, so that way. So each one person will be given one decade. I still recite the decade that was given to me in 2002, the third decade of the um, Sorrowful Mysteries. So before going to bed, it automatically comes to your mind. You know, when you lie down, when you close your eyes, immediately comes, Jesus is crowned with the sharp thorns. And then you start saying that rosary. So one rosary, our daily rosary, is just something that we do every day. But this month of October, we know it is the feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary on the 7th. And this is special devotion to the Holy Rosary. In our parish and all that, I remember there will be 10 days of rosary early morning in the church, first 10 days. Along with that, there will be 10 days of rosary each family unit. There are groups, family groups. So there will be each day rosary in each house. They carry the statue of our Blessed Mother, keep it in that home, say the rosary. That evening, take it to the next home, keep it one whole day, that Blessed Mother's uh, statue. Pray the rosary that evening, next day take it. So that way, 10 days of rosary in that house. And last 10 days of rosary in the evening in the church, which means in 30 days time, all of us in this parish will have completed 30 extra rosaries, 30 extra rosaries. So that's how we celebrate the Holy Rosary. And at the end of the day, 30th, we have a grand celebration in the church. So this month, first suggestion is say an extra rosary. Second suggestion is carry your rosary with you wherever you go. When you go to bed, carry the rosary, keep the rosary next to your pillow. Because the rosary has a lot of, it is not because it is just a garland. The more you pray the rosary, that rosary gets, gets or that rosary brings graces and powers to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Rosary has great power against sin and Satan. The rosary has great power against sin and Satan. Every person who is taking a rosary starts to pray the rosary. The person is repeating word of God, repeating the promise of God, and he is being protected, sanctified with the word of God. Protected and sanctified with the word of God. And the person who is praying the rosary, he has special promise of protection in the mantle of our Blessed Mother. Hallelujah. 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 When I was a little child, most of my time I spent in my mother's house. So it's just three kilometers from my house, next parish. So my two uncles were not married then. So they will come pick me home because I was the first grandchild in the family. So they all of them loved me so much. And uh, when my sister came, second one, that love was divided. Anyway, first one year I got, you know, sometime I got extra love. So my grandmother was the one who fed me when I was a little child. And mothers, all mothers know, when the child do not, doesn't eat, what do you do? He will say, something will come and, you know, say, if you don't eat, he will come and catch you. Don't you do that? Ghost, what do you say? One day my mother, grandmother was feeding me and in my place there are uh, six brothers close by, neighborhood, six brothers. All six are more than six foot high. I am a very little child, all six foot high. And among them, one man, one uh, brother, elder brother, let me call me an elder brother. What do you call Aya? Aya. One Aya had a special kind of eye, very crystal kind of eye, different from all the others. And his hair also was a little bit brownish. So he stands out from anything. So when all these six brothers, after their work in their house place, you know, owned by their house, 
they're all going back and showing this one person who is standing behind my grandmother told if you don't eat food i'll ask him i know his name but i don't want to take that name i had asked him he will come and take you that day onwards what happens to the child all the other five brothers you will be okay but this one not okay so if he comes to you will run away so one day after all these experiences eating because of fear i was coming with my dad and mom walking to this house for a function or something and i see this man particular man he is standing on the side of the road immediately my response was to go behind and hide with behind my dad because he is the man and he is only half the size of that person but i was hiding behind do you know what happened my dad he is my dad's friend he went and talked to him will you ever feel confident after going behind him but my mom knowing that she pulled me close to her and one place i could have hidden myself you now the best way to hide is just to close your eyes i just took my mother's sari the edge of the sari and i put it around and i can't see him that was the best experience of protection in my childhood best experience of protection i thought my dad would protect but he was his friend so he even laugh laughing talking to him but my mom took me and she just put me put her sari in the edge of sari or the end of whatever you have that sari thing i still remember that whenever i think of mother mary's protection whenever i see that mantle of mother mary kind of it comes to my mind how beautifully our mother mary would protect us and consequently i just read today about saint john bosco saint john bosco he is a man of dreams saint of dreams god revealed so much of truth about sacraments to john um, john bosco through dreams so he is sharing two dreams to not two three dreams in all three dreams there is mother mary three great dreams about the power of power of mother mary the first dream the church as a big ship in a deep sea having lot of uh, wind attacking and even small boats attacking the the church the sea, the ship and the ship is in between or the ship a ship is tied to two pillars two columns in the sea so that the ship doesn't topple and two pillars one pillar on top of that the statue of mary help of christians and the on the other pillar was the eucharist the blessed sacrament of the lord that is the first uh, first vision he has or first dream about the holy catholic church being protected by the uh, blessed sacrament and by mary help of christians second dream he is having he has an oratory where the kids so he was talking in his office to someone and immediately his mother who had already passed away 6 years ago she is coming and tell come and see something is happening in the playground of the people they go there is a big elephant big elephant playing with his kids and this elephant is playing with the children and at the time of the blessed sacrament or at the time of the uh, benediction of the blessed sacrament the elephant comes into the church elephant kneels down but back to the altar back to the altar once the benediction is over when everyone is going out to play again this elephant becomes wild elephant becomes violent it attacks every child around and in the dream saint john bosco cannot do anything and in this dream when saint john bosco is standing there is the grotto of mother mary immediately that statue grows into a life size and she spreads her mantle the more the children those who take refuge inside the mantle they get healed and they also get protected by mother mary's mantle and the mantle grows as the children comes in it grows to protect everyone 
and the end of the story some of the children who were helping the elephant the elephant becomes a ghost immediately and then carries these children and opens the opens the, the soil or the ground and goes down and he te- teaches mother mary has great protection all those who take recourse unto her there is great protection of mother mary unto us and again the third story i'm saying so many dreams the third dream is there is um, a snake a big snake but shapeless and one of his friends is saying to john bosco tie the snake so he is given a rock he is tying the snake is okay the moment he takes the rock in his hand the snake becomes silent it becomes so dormant he ties the snake and the snake tries once he ties the snake the snake tries to get away from the knot but the more it tries to release the knot it gets tighter and tighter at the end this snake uh, you know is destroyed into pieces because of the knot being tightened and tightened and when he takes the rope back he sees a rosary in his hand and then immediately these children come and looks at it and they start to eat the pieces of the flesh saying that it is delicious it is so delicious those who eat that pieces they die they become and immediately they find a hammer and a chisel so all those who are fallen those boys those who are children those who are fallen john bosco takes the chisel and the hammer hits each one and they come back to life and the story and the uh, and the dream the revelation in the dream he says these three the holy rosary sacrament of reconciliation that is a chisel and the hammer is the blessed sacrament so in all his dreams he has blessed mary together in his ministry blessed mary is helping him to do the ministry so my dear sisters and brothers it is a promise unto us that the mother's protection is for her children for all of us she will protect us the moment we take the rosary in our hand we are entering into that protective mantle of our mother so let us pray that rosary every day now we shall go why mother has so much power against the evil one when we read in the scriptures it speaks about the woman the woman it is from the old testament genesis from the time of eve to the new testament book of revelation chapter 12 where we have the eve the woman uh, clothed in sun and under her under her legs under her feet are the moon and 12 stars the crown of 12 stars she is the woman against the woman in the book of uh, genesis who committed sin who became the first one to commit a sin to be disobedient to god now we see mother mary as the woman who is obedient to god so through disobedience sin has entered death has entered and through obedience the death is cured life has come back it's same with jesus jesus is the adam new adam and saint um saint paul writes in first corinthians Saint Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 22 for as in Adam all die so also in Jesus Christ shall all be made alive the old eve is death all adam is death new eve mother mary is life new adam jesus brings life So that is why she destroys she has that enmity against the evil one the old ancient serpent that ancient serpent you know in the book of revelation in the book of revelation uh, chapter 14 book of revelation chapter 12 we we read michael is fighting that uh, lucifer then it is said 
in verses 9 and the great dragon was thrown down that ancient serpent who is called devil and satan the deceiver of the whole world same serpent from the old testament destroyed in the book of revelation and through mother mary's help as well the son who was born of mother mary so we have that promise being fulfilled in mother mary and why is mother mary so so effective and powerful against satan because of three reasons three reasons this is from the tradition of the by, uh, tradition of the uh, of the holy catholic church and also it is a teaching um, by father gabriel amort he is the chief exorcist in vatican so from him his teachings and the tradition of the church because the characteristics of satan in the scripture is he is the proudest he is most disobedient he is a rebel disobedient that is rebel himself and he is the most deceiving and sinful he is the proudest he is the most deceiving and he is the rebel disobedient and when why mother mary is so powerful against him because she is the most obedient among the creatures she is the most humble among the creatures and she is the purest among the creatures remember she is the most humble among the creatures she is the most obedient in the creatures among the creatures she is the most purest in the creatures so when we pray with mother mary she doesn't have any taint of sin remember when the angel comes and addresses mother mary what does she say hail full of grace meaning she doesn't have any taint of sin and when we pray with her when we pray with her we are learning to be obedient we are learning to be humble we are learning to be pure we are learning to be humble we are learning to be pure we are learning to be obedient and only through humility obedience and purity we can crush the head of satan hallelujah hallelujah because where there is a little bit of pride where there is a little bit of disobedience where there is a little bit of unholiness satan creeps in those hearts and makes them slave of satan mother mary teaches us how to be humble how to be pure how to be obedient and that is why mother mary has that power over satan satan could not inflict anything upon mother mary because she was obedient till her last breath till her last breath behold the handmaid of the lord be it done unto me according to thy word that was not just a reply to that angel throughout her life throughout her life no compromise she never compromised with obedience purity and humility in the book of isaiah chapter 12 isaiah chapter 14 verses 12 to 15 if you read about satan you will you will read about satan where we read how you are fallen from heaven o day star son of dawn how you are cut down to the ground you who laid the nations low you said in you in your heart i will ascend to heaven above the stars of god i will set my throne on high i will sit on the mount of assembly in the far north i will ascend above the heights of the clouds i will make myself like the most high this is the thought of satan in his heart when he rebelled against god you go back to that garden of eden what is he saying to eve saying the same thing you will be like the most high it is not just disobedience 
It is not just about ignoring what the Lord said, but it is more about wanting to be above God, wanting to be like God and above God. I would like to say it is not being disobedient, but to make God obedient to them, to make everything obedient to them, including God. This was a desire that is created by Satan in her heart. If I eat this fruit, I will be like God. I can command everyone, even God. Mother Mary, remember, if any of you were chosen to be the mother of Jesus, and remember this incident where G Mother Mary is going to see Jesus, or remember at least this incident where at the wedding of Cana, wedding in Cana, and you are going to Jesus and saying, Jesus, they don't have wine. And Jesus is saying, woman, what is it for you and me? My time has not come. What would be your response? Hello, I am a mother. Okay, do what I am telling you. Hmm? Don't say anything against me. No backward. Okay, no, no talking back. Obey what I say. I am your mother. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But look at Mother Mary, just obedient to God, to the core. Obedient to God, to the core. Humble to the core. Pure in heart to the core. Today we were reflecting on uh, Saint Louis de Montfort's reflections on Mother Mary's purity. Mother Mary's purity of heart. And in that he says one simple thing, and that is when Jesus was in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the synagogue of, uh, at Nazareth where he is proclaiming the spirit of the Lord is upon me and he is saying in your hearing everything this promise has been completed. People wanted to kill him. People wanted to kill him. Mother Mary also was there. Saint Louis Montfort says Saint Mother Mary because that is a hometown. She also was there. She could have felt so much anger towards that crowd. She was standing at the foot of the cross. She could have felt so much hatred towards those who crucified him. She never did that. She never kept anything in her heart because that pure was her heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you take the rosary in your hand, learn and realize in your heart, you are learning from Mother Mary how to be humble against the proudest, how to be pure against the most sinful, how to be obedient against the rebel against God. And you take the rosary, this is what you learn. This is what you are holding on to. Know this when you take the rosary. And that will bring the power of God against Satan through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. So when you take the rosary, you are taking a weapon in your hand against the Satan. When you take the rosary in your hand, you are taking a weapon against the, uh, against the Satan. So that is the first reason, merits of Mother Mary. Obedient, pure, and one more I said. Obedient, pure, and humble. Praise the Lord. At least some of you have a tongue. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of you have ears, but only few have tongues. So anyway, so that is merit of Mother Mary. The second is the most important. The prayer that you say in the Holy Rosary. We have 20 mysteries that we are praying on the Holy Rosary. Set aside Hail Mary and our Father and glory be to the Father. 20 mysteries. What are these 20 mysteries? Mysteries of Mother Mary or mysteries of Jesus? Mysteries of Jesus, right. And what are these mysteries of Jesus? What is the effect of the mysteries of Jesus? 
coming down into the earth, living, dying, rising. What did he do? What did he do? Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. What does that mean? When he came down on the earth, died for us on the cross, he was saving us from whom? Now you were, he was saving all of you from Father Joby. No, whom? What? Yes, from the sin and Satan. The same or ancient serpent who deceived the heart of Eve. He killed or he rather struck the head of the Satan. Remember the promise in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verses 15 where we read after the first sin I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and the seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. Hallelujah. He shall bruise your head. That is the strike Jesus was giving to Satan when he was sacrificed on the cross. And these are the mysteries that we are reflecting. How we are saved from the clutches of sin. How we are saved from Satan. How Jesus struck Satan, sin and death down. How he defeated Satan, sin and death. So when we take the rosary and pray the decades, when we pray the mysteries, we are again and again and again striking the head of Satan because we are reflecting on the mysteries of that salvation, how Jesus struck Satan down. Hallelujah. 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 Can I tell you something? When a couple of days ago, I just had a little um, uh, little heat boil somewhere here and then every day morning uh, you know without uh, you know I have to shave every day morning because some of you said father you don't look good with the beard so I have to shave every day so I go and shave every time I shave it hurts again you know cuts again and again never heals never heals so a couple of days I just camouflage that area with some cream and uh, nobody noticed it. So now it is healed. I was thinking, this wound that is being opened again and again, or a place where you have once hit, you are hitting the same place again and again, it takes time to heal or it never heals. Right? Never heals. Same way, 20 mysteries of your salvation, 20 mysteries how Jesus struck Satan down, you're praying one after another, meaning you are hitting the head of Satan again and again and again, never allowing to lift his head in your life. Have you ever given a thought? When you take a rosary, when you say the word of God and pray, when you say this 20 mysteries and pray one after another without any stop, you are hitting the head of the same ancient serpent, never allowing to lift that ancient serpent again. Have that thought when you take the rosary to pray. And the very fact that you carry your rosary with you, that itself is a protection. I do not know whether I have told you or you have heard, when I was struggling with anger in my life, in the seminary, because that was one area I was really struggling, really weak. Even though I do not express in words, it comes on my face and I stop talking to people. I went to my spiritual director. He told me, keep your rosary in your pocket. Whenever you are angry, touch the rosary and the cross at the end of the rosary, you will overcome. And I would say, I give my testimony, I overcame by holding just on to the cross at the end of the rosary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again, 
and his sisters and there's so much of so much of mystery reflection on this rosary itself the traditional rosary this is what we have starting with the cross ending in cross the whole life of mother mary is surrounded by the cross or her life is surrounding the cross meaning imbibing that strength from the cross salvation from the cross never leaving the cross our life also when we are praying the rosary we are also surrounding that cross where there is protection of the lord against the cross no evil shall strike so when we are in this month of holy rosary keep in our mind just a few things i wanted to tell you the first thing there is protection there is a promise there will be enmity between the woman and you woman mother mary and you satan enmity she will never ever be afflicted by you she will always be against you if we are standing by her if we are in her mantle will always stand against the evil one and your seed and her seed he will strike your head every time you take the rosary and how jesus struck satan down through his the mysteries of salvation his death on the cross his resurrection you pray that mysteries in the rosary you are striking again 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 and again the head of that ancient serpent and third by the very merits of mother mary the humblest among the creation the most obedient among the creation the most pure among the creation full of grace among the creation when you take the rosary you are learning to be pure humble and obedient against the proudest against the rebel most disobedient against the most vicious most sinful and you pray the rosary you are claiming yourself back from the slavery of sin to the slavery of god or rather you are giving yourself to god so my dear sisters and brothers this month and we when we are celebrating month of our blessed mother a lady of the rosary the queen of the holy rosary we shall pray with our heart an extra rosary every day extra rosary every day knowing that we are striking satan who is has influence in our life knowing and learning to be pure humble and obedient just like mother mary and knowing that we are walking with mother mary to the eternity hallelujah 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 so will you pray that holy rosary once again knowing the effect and power of the holy rosary knowing the power and effect of the holy rosary keep it with you every day wherever you go keep it with you have it with you you will feel the power and protection of our mother mary let us pray god heavenly father when our lord jesus was crucified on the cross you gave us our mother the woman who fought against the evil one the woman who always has enmity to satan that ancient serpent who deceived the first woman in the garden of eden in blessed mother you created the new eve the purest the most obedient and the most humble of all creatures and through her you brought your son into the world to save us as you promised in the book of genesis the seed of the woman who will strike the head of the ancient serpent oh lord 
It is you who gave us this powerful prayer, O Rosary, where we pray your promises in the scriptures, where we meditate the mysteries of our Lord Jesus Christ, the mysteries of our salvation, through which the Lord Jesus struck the head of Satan. Give us the conviction in our heart every time we pray this prayer of rosary. Praying with our Blessed Mother, we too are striking the head of Satan, the ancient serpent. And through this powerful prayer, give us the grace to overcome our temptations, defeat and destroy Satan and to lead a life close to your heart. Amen.